In today's video, I'm gonna be revealing how you can get a human resource management degree in as little as six months. And this can be done by going to an accelerated university. Now, there are several accelerated universities that I recommend, but the one I'm gonna be talking about in this video is going to be WGU, also known as Western Governors University. Now the tactics and the strategies that I'm gonna be talking about in this video can be used at many other universities, but just to make this simple, I am gonna be using WGU as an example. And these are strategies that until recently I only revealed in private consultations, but I got a ton of requests to make videos about this on the channel. And I made a few videos, people really love them, and they wanted me to make an entire series on all the different degrees that WGU has to offer. And so that's what I'm doing. And not only that, but my team and I also worked really hard on creating cheat sheets for each individual degree. And these cheat sheets make this entire process ridiculously easy. This is probably gonna save you like 10 to 20 hours of research. And overall, doing this can save you up to four years of school, $100,000 in student loan debt, and a ton of opportunity cost as well. So if you appreciate me making videos like this, dropping an insane amount of value, go ahead, gently tap that like button, and let's jump into it right now. All right, so this is going to be a four step process. And you really have to take each of these steps very seriously. Don't skip any of them. And the very first step on the list sounds very simple, but you should still take your time on it. And that is go ahead and transfer in all of the existing classes and the existing credits that you already have. Now you'll be surprised at how many different things WGU actually accepts. They're very gracious when it comes to credit transfers. So for instance, if you have military experience, they may accept that. If you have a lot of work experience, they might accept that. Certifications and certificates, CLEP exams, AP and IB classes that you might have taken during high school, and of course, any other type of college classes that you've already taken. Many of these things can be transferred in, and a lot of the time people find that they're able to transfer in a bunch of different classes at this first step that they didn't think they were going to be able to. So yeah, take your time, make sure you do your research on this step, transfer all those in, and then you're going to get a list of the classes that are going to be remaining after you've transferred them in. And you're gonna get this list from the enrollment counselor that you talk to at WGU. Now, this enrollment counselor might try to get you to enroll right now. And using this method that I'm talking about, you don't wanna do that. In fact, you're not going to enroll until the very last step, which is step four. Once you've transferred them in, you've gotten that list of classes back, you're gonna go ahead and move on to step number two, which is you are going to test out of a bunch of the remaining classes using third-party companies. Now, this is what I like to call the test out phase. Now, I do have a cheat sheet that makes this entire process insanely easy. I will put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So definitely check that out. Now, you can transfer in a ton of classes. So for instance, here's a comment I found when I was searching Reddit saying that they are able to transfer in about 75% of their degree before they even start at WGU. And that's actually not very uncommon. It's relatively common to transfer in at least 50% of your classes, and sometimes it's even over 75%. And you're gonna be doing this by using third-party companies like study.com, sophia.org, or straighterline.com. And I actually like them in that order. So study.com is my favorite one. I've just had the best experience with them overall with people that I've worked with. Sophia.org can be really good as well. And then straighterline is good for a few classes here and there. Now, some people get super technical with this and they'll take like three classes from uh, sophia.org and four classes from straighterline and like six classes from study.com. And you can do that because sometimes they'll say that this class is like slightly easier to take than that class. But with that being said, I personally just like to keep it simple and just do all of them in one place. And overall, you are gonna have to take about 40 classes to get this degree. And if you use this guide correctly, you can drop that down to about 14 classes that you have to take after you transfer all of them in. And you can very comfortably test out of about one class per week, even if you have a family, a full-time job, and you're super busy. But if you're not super busy, you don't have a family and a full-time job, you can do it a lot faster than that. So for instance, I've had many people tell me that they're able to test out of one class per day, and in some cases, even multiple classes. Classes. And the main reason why you want to do this using third-party companies and not WGU themselves is simply because it's faster, cheaper, and easier. So once you've tested out of all these different classes, you are gonna move on to step number three, which is you are going to pre-study the remaining classes. So this is another important phase that a lot of people actually skip. And I don't think it's a good idea to skip because the whole idea here is you want to enroll in WGU and finish it as fast as you possibly can. And if you haven't pre-studied the classes, it's probably gonna take you quite a bit of time to get through them. And the reason why you wanna go as fast as possible is because WGU charges 
pushes you by the term. And one term is six months. So for instance, if you enroll in WGU and you're able to knock all of those remaining classes out in six months, that means you only have to pay for one term, which is approximately $3,500. That's right, you can get an entire bachelor's degree in terms of the time that you're actually enrolled for about $3,500 if you do this strategy correctly. And this is a top 10% school that's regionally accredited and respected in the industry. Now, the best ways to pre-study this are going to be going on the WGU subreddit itself, and that's extremely useful, but they also usually have have a WGU subreddit for the specific course as well. And they tend to share a bunch of tips and tricks. Uh, they talk about how to properly study for a class and how to pass the test as quickly and efficiently as possible. And this sort of thing does change from time to time, so it's good to stay on there and stay up to date. Same thing goes for Facebook groups. So typically there's also going to be WGU Facebook groups for the specific degrees as well. So you definitely wanna look on there as people will be sharing tips and tricks as well, and you might even be able to talk to them. It's also pretty good for networking, so there's that as well. And beyond that, there's always really good resources on YouTube, of course. Um, you've got Udemy, which has really cheap classes. You've got Khan Academy, which is typically free. You've got lots of different resources out there for really good educational content online that's either free or very affordable. And of course, if you're a textbook type of person, you can always buy a textbook. Um, you know, they're typically like 20 to $30 after a few years. And yes, buying an older textbook is completely fine. They usually just update a few things here and there, and it's essentially the same book, and then they charge like $300 for it. And that's something you can absolutely avoid if you go to a school like WGU, thank goodness. Finally, after you feel confident that you've pre-studied the classes correctly, you're gonna go ahead and move on to step number four, which is you are finally gonna enroll in WGU and knock those remaining 14 classes out as fast as you possibly can. And there are many stories of people online that have used similar strategies to this to get through their degree in two years or less. So for instance, here's a person who was able to get their entire degree in about 18 months. Here's another person who was able to get through their entire degree in about eight months. And then of course, there's always extreme examples of people who are able to get their degree even faster than that. So for instance, my friend Josh Matikor, he's basically the king of WGU. He was able to get a computer science degree in two months. And computer science is probably the most difficult degree to get at WGU. Now he took it extremely seriously. He was trying to like speed run it basically. I don't expect everyone to be able to do that. But with that being said, he was still working a full-time job while he did that. Now make sure to take advantage of the professors at WGU, especially for some of the harder classes like the capstone project and the business simulation class. And like I said before, with WGU, you can get the degree done really quickly, really easily, and really affordably. You don't even have to quit your job or anything like that because it's extremely flexible. You can just do it whenever you have free time. Time. And on top of that, it is respected by employers across the country. So for instance, this person was able to get their human resource management degree from WGU. They finished it in one term and they had no issues at all. They say that no employer ever questioned their degree and they were even able to land an IT management role at an Ivy League university with their degrees that they got from WGU. This person as well got a degree from WGU and they were hired by a major company who just required an accredited bachelor's degree, which is exactly what WGU is, right? So this is a great place if you're getting a degree where you just have to have an accredited degree, right? You don't need to have any fancy stuff. You don't have to go to an Ivy League university or anything like that. There are many examples of jobs out there that for whatever reason, they just require an accredited degree and they couldn't care less where you go. So overall, the strategy summary here is one, you want to transfer in your existing credits. Two, you want to pregame the courses. Three, you want to knock out as many classes as you can by pre-studying at third-party companies. And then four, you want to complete the remaining classes as fast as you can. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the cheat sheet and I'm gonna take you through an example step-by-step -step on exactly how you would probably go about doing this. All right, so we are in the cheat sheet now and I'll just go over it really quickly. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but on the left side here, we've got the ID for the classes. Um, if you click on that, it'll take you to all the classes uh, linked up to their IDs. Here, you've got all the course names at WGU. So these are the names of the actual courses you have to take for the human resource management degree at WGU. Uh, here you have the units for each course and here you have the study.com transfers. And so basically, again, this is kind of self-explanatory, but um, this class right here, English 104, if you completed this on study.com, it would transfer in for this English composition class. And if you click right here, it will take you to the exact class on study.com.
So we're gonna go ahead and start off with step one, which is you are going to transfer in existing classes. Now in this particular case, of course, I'm just making this up, but let's say you took uh, calculus, like AP calculus during high school. Let's say you took AP biology during high school and also AP economics. So you were able to transfer in those three classes. And then on top of that, you took a semester at community college and you were able to transfer in art and sociology as well. So you were able to transfer in about five classes right off the bat. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to step number two, which is the test out phase. So you're gonna go ahead and test out of all of the remaining classes that you can using study.com. And as you can see, it is a lot of classes. Now, by the way, when you go to study.com and you get to checkout, if you use the code Shane Hummus, you'll get about 30% off your first three months at study.com. So they were nice enough to uh, provide me a discount code. And also it will help the channel out a little bit if you use that, so I would appreciate that. So after you tested out of all those classes, these are the remaining ones that you would have. So about 14 classes or so, and you would go ahead and move on to step three, which is you would want to pre-study these. So you would go ahead, pre-study all these classes. Um, you would especially spend more time on some of the more difficult ones. And then when you feel confident, you would go ahead and roll in WGU and move on to step number four, which is knock those remaining classes out as fast as possible. Now with this particular degree, it is very realistic to knock these classes out in one term. Uh, some of the education degrees is a little harder to do, if, if not impossible, because you have to have kind of like experiential stuff that you do. But with this uh, particular degree, you can absolutely knock it out in one term and two terms max. And that is, of course, if you use the methods that I talked about uh, in this video. Then you would move on to step number five, which is you would brag to everybody about how you were able to graduate in less than a year from WGU with a bachelor's degree. And hopefully you would also move on to step six, which is tell everybody you know how they can also do it as well and share this video with your friends and family so that they can take advantage of this amazing opportunity as well. Now, one thing I do want to say is WGU is a phenomenal option for a ton of people out there, especially people who come to me who I've worked with one on one. But with that being said, it is not for everybody, right? It has its pros and its cons. There's nothing out there in the world that just only has pros with no downsides. Uh, WGU does have some downsides. For instance, it's completely remote. Some people hate studying remote, um, you know, but I think like all schools went remote for like two years or so there. So I mean, it, it's kind of of the norm now. But with that being said, I definitely think you should check out this video right here where I talk about the pros and cons of WGU to see if it's right for you or to see if there are any other schools that might be a little bit better.